Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to recreate the guitar tones from the Smashing Pumpkins album Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. So if you saw my video on the history of recording this album, you'll know that Billy had a massive rack set up in 20 to 30 different guitars to get the tones for this album, but I think we can simplify it down with a few key pieces in my arsenal and get pretty close to the tone. So in describing the tone of this album, I find it really fat and has a ton of low end. The top end is bright and whistly with an aggressive mid-range, which is very characteristic of the Celestion T75 speaker. The guitars I'm using will be a Squire Vintage Modified 70s Stratocaster, which I equipped with Billy Corrigan's signature DiMarzio pickups. And then to replicate James's guitar, I'm using the ESP LTD 401 with a Seymour Duncan distortion in the bridge. Now to replicate the Marshall tone, I'm using a JCM 2000 triple super lead, boosted with an electro harmonic soul food. Now I'm bringing this into the computer with a Torpedo Captor 8, where I'm bringing it into Cubase and using some post processing. For the cabinet simulation, I'm using my own impulse response that I took from a Marshall cabinet with a T75 speaker. So this on its own sounds fairly close to the record, but it's just not quite right. So I'm using a bunch of different EQ to match it closer to the tones heard on the album. I also bring in a bunch of tape plugins and saturation to help boost that low end. So now I'm going to play a bunch of my favorite riffs along with drum tracks to give you an idea of the tones I was able to get.
So there you have it, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the tones I was able to achieve. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.